NDR Glazer Peripheral Iridotomy is the preferred procedure for treating primary angle closure disease caused by relative or absolute pupillary block. NDR Glazer PI eliminates pupillary block by allowing aqueous to pass directly from posterior chamber into anterior chamber by passing the pupil. This video shows as to which angle needs LPI, the site to be selected for LPI, the parameters during LPI and the procedural consideration. Now when to do laser PI? It is done in cases of primary angle closure suspects, primary angle closure and primary angle closure glaucoma cases. Here we can see a closed angle. This is again a closed angle. This is normal depth of the anterior chamber but the angle is showing the pigment clumps, the signs of primary angle closure. So a closed angle and the pigment clumps in the angle. suggestive of previous episodes of angle closure. Here again we can see the closed angle, few peripheral anterior synechia are also seen, the pigment clumps are there and the angle is closed. So these are the indications for doing laser peripheral iridotomy. Now, what is the equipment for doing NDR Glazer peripheral iridotomy? This is the NDR Glazer console. And here we can see the parameters. The Abraham iridotomy lens is used to perform PI. Use of this contact lens makes the procedure easier. The laser energy is concentrated at the level of iris. Number of corneal epithelial burns are minimized and lens keeps the eye open. This lens is actually a plus 66 diopter plano convex button bonded into a decentered 8 mm hole. Here we can see the Abraham iridotomy lens. After taking informed consent of the patient under topical anesthesia with properacane 0.5% iridotomy lens is applied. Patient is asked to look straight. Iridotomy is performed in peripheral one-third of the iris, just anterior to arcus. The site which is selected is preferably the crypt of the iris and the power used is 4 to 8 millijoule depending upon the thickness of the iris. Here we can see the magnified view of the crypt and here the laser energy is being applied. The laser shot is given and we can see the iridotomy opening. Another shot. Sometimes even the single shot is enough to perform the iridotomy. Sometimes the patient might require two to three shots. But multiple shots are to be avoided. Here is the magnified view of the iridotomy.
After the procedure, after one hour, intraocular pressure is checked, then topical steroid is applied for a period of one week, and at one week, again intraocular pressure is checked, and the patency of peripheral iridotomy is confirmed. Thus, ND Aglaser peripheral iridotomy is a simple procedure to perform if learned meticulously. Thank you.